Hey everyone, it's Tyler the Antenna Man, and today I'm going to review the Stellar Labs Deep Fringe High VHF Antenna. This is one of the only directional antennas out there that's designed for high VHF TV frequencies. The only other model I know of is the Clearstream 5, but that antenna isn't really that big. How well will this antenna work? You'll find out in this video. If you're seeing me for the first time, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit that little bell icon to receive a notification whenever I post a new video. This video is sponsored by the Ridge Wallet. It's light, sleek, and industrial. It doesn't bulge out or fold in your pocket like those old wallets do. Cell phones have advanced from giant bricks to sleek devices, yet the wallet has remained about the same. A fat, ugly mess filled with receipts. The Ridge Wallet holds up to 12 cards plus room for cash. There's over 30 colors and styles including carbon fiber and burnt titanium. The Ridge Wallet is a perfect gift for the holidays. Everyone has an old wallet they've owned forever and no one thinks to get themselves a new one. 40,000 five-star reviewers can't be wrong. Get 10% off by going to ridge.com forward slash antenna man and typing the keyword antenna man at checkout. Back to the review, the Stellar Labs antenna is very unique in the way it's designed exclusively for high VHF TV channels. Most antennas out there are combo antennas, which is great for most situations. However, some areas have high VHF channels that are very weak and need a dedicated VHF antenna in order to reliably pick them up. The VHF band is definitely a problem for many TV broadcasters. The band is very noisy and prone to interference from power lines, FM radio, and even LED lights. To add to the problem, most people first go to smaller antennas when they cut the cord, which have little gain on the VHF band. In my opinion, the FCC set the power limit for VHF stations way too low. I found in most situations, people have problems picking up VHF TV stations compared to the higher powered UHF stations in the same market. So to reiterate, this antenna is designed for TV stations that broadcast on high VHF channels, which most areas have. Now before you instantly think, oh, we have NBC10, so it has to be on VHF, understand that most TV stations do not broadcast on a channel number they show on air. I'll use the example of NBC10 in Philadelphia. Most of you probably think it broadcasts on the VHF band because of the channel 10 but it actually broadcasts on the UHF band. The current digital standard allows TV stations to broadcast on a different channel, yet still have their old analog channel show up on a TV set. To find out what channels your local TV stations are broadcasting on, go to antennaweb.org, type in your address, and look at the RF channel number. Here's a video to show you the size. You can see that although this is a pretty long antenna, it isn't too wide, since the elements are optimized for high VHF. One would think the larger size would bring in channels better, at least on the VHF band. But how well will this antenna work on the whole spectrum, VHF and UHF? I'm now going to test it out in the same location I've tested out various other outdoor antennas on my YouTube channel. Most of the TV stations are about 45 miles away on both the VHF and UHF band. If you decide to purchase this antenna, make sure to follow one of my affiliate links in the description of this video to help support my YouTube channel. Here's a list of the stations along with their RF channels and their signal strengths on the last two antennas I tested out on my YouTube channel. On the left side, you'll see the type of diffraction on the TV station. One edge means single edge diffraction or one ridge between me and the transmitter weakening the signal. Two edge means two edge diffraction or two ridges weakening the signal between me and the transmitter. LOS means line of sight with virtually no obstructions in the way. You can also see the results of various other outdoor antenna models by checking out my other videos. The signal strength on WNEP, which broadcasts on UHF channel 50, was lower on this antenna compared to most antennas I've tested out, but that's to be expected because it is a VHF antenna. 
The signal strength on WYOU, which broadcasts on VHF channel 13, was very high on this antenna. One of the highest signal levels I've seen of any antenna I've tested out on this channel. The same holds true for WBRE, which broadcasts on VHF channel 11. This antenna brought in one of the highest signal levels I've seen of any antenna I tested out. The signal on Fox 56, which broadcasts on UHF channel 22, was lower on this antenna, but again, that's to be expected, since I'm using a VHF antenna to pick up a UHF station. To my surprise, the signal on Fox 29's repeater was higher on this antenna compared to Danny's ultimate antenna, and about the same as the other dedicated UHF antenna. The signal on NJTV's repeater was lower on this antenna compared to the last two antennas I've tested out, likely because I'm using a VHF antenna to show you a UHF signal. This antenna performed the best on the high VHF band out of any antenna I tested out. Some of you probably saw lower signal levels on some of the UHF channels and thought, well, this isn't such a great antenna. Understand that this is a dedicated VHF antenna, so it's going to have all the gain on the high VHF band. It's not meant to be used as a single antenna to pick up all the stations on both the VHF and UHF band. I see this antenna great for two scenarios. The first scenario is if you want to combine two very high gain antennas together for the highest gain possible compared to using a combo antenna. This would be great if you live in a very fringe area DX or have trouble picking up a certain VHF station no matter what outdoor antenna you try. Another situation where this antenna could be a huge advantage is if you have a VHF channel that comes from a different direction than the other stations in your area, like the case of Fox 13 in Seattle, Washington. At the time this video was made, December 2020, I can confidently say this is the best high VHF antenna on the market. It truly impressed me. Test after test, I found most small antennas to pick up my local VHF channels at around 45 to 60%. Larger antennas between 60 to 70%. I never knew it was possible to pick them up with a close to 80% signal. That 10 to 20% signal gain can be the difference between a reliable, watchable signal and nothing at all if you live in a very weak signal area. Those of you with a technical background will understand the huge benefit of this antenna. For the rest of you that may be new to cord cutting, you may not need this large, dedicated VHF antenna. All reception situations are different, and there's no one antenna that's perfect for everyone. This is why I offer custom antenna recommendations on my website at antennamanpa.com. I go through your unique reception situation, take a look at the signal strength and frequencies at your location, and determine what antenna will work best based on my experience testing out over 50 antennas, installing them in four TV markets. I now also offer assistance locating an antenna installer in your area. So if you want an antenna set up done right the first time, consider a custom antenna recommendation from me. Thank you for watching my YouTube video. A huge thanks to these folks who support me on Patreon and are members of my YouTube channel. If you would like to help support my YouTube channel while gaining exclusive perks, such as behind the scenes content, access to my videos ad-free one day early, a monthly live stream, and direct contact with me, visit patreon.com forward slash antenna man or click the join button in this video. If you're on Facebook, like my Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash antenna man PA. If you're not on Facebook and would like to receive email updates whenever I post new videos, feel free to sign up to my email list. I attached a link in the description of this video. Stay tuned to my channel for more cord cutting and antenna related information and have an awesome day.